Today's seminar is, can a buyer refuse to pay a deposit and cancel a real estate agreement? I have now seen several situations where a buyer has succeeded in a late night bidding war and then has had buyer's remorse the next morning. In many Ontario real estate agreements, the deposit is payable within 24 hours of acceptance. The buyer then decides they will just not pay the deposit and cancel the agreement. Can they do this? Here are six things to remember when you are a buyer or a seller when this happens. Number one, can a buyer cancel the agreement by refusing to pay the deposit? The answer is no. The buyer can still be sued by the seller for any damages the seller suffers in selling to a different buyer. Number two, what if the seller sells for more money? Can they still sue the buyer? In this situation, even if the seller incurs no damages, they could still sue the buyer for the deposit that was not paid. Number three, how can a seller be protected from this happening? Many selling real estate agents are asking that any potential buyer bring a certified fund or a bank draft at the time they present the offer, precisely so that they cannot try and cancel the next morning. Number four, are there any options open to a buyer who cannot close? The buyer can try and find another buyer to take their place. This is permitted through an assignment. If, for example, there were other bidders involved, one of them could be contacted to see if they would still be interested in taking over the buyer contract. Number five, will the seller be able to collect all of their damages in a lawsuit? No lawsuit is the same and no buyer and seller are in the same circumstances. If, for example, your buyer is a first-time buyer with very little assets, then a seller may win a lawsuit but collect very little. However, if the seller knows that the buyer has substantial assets, they will likely bring legal proceedings as they will be confident in being able to collect any damages owed. Is it better to settle than sue? In my opinion, it is always better to settle than sue. Lawsuits are not only expensive, but they take an emotional toll on you as well. Think how upset you got when you last received a traffic ticket and have to fight it in court. Now multiply the stress by 100 and you begin to understand what is involved. It is also possible a court decision could be made public, bringing you publicity you do not want either. Figure out a fair settlement, if at all possible. At our law firm, we do every part of a transaction safely, whether it is signing documents through a video conference, transferring funds to our trust account, and arranging lockboxes on closing for the keys. If you have any questions about how to resolve your own cl closing issues, please contact me at mark at realestatelawyers.ca. From all of my partners and staff at realestatelawyers.ca, stay safe and be healthy.